Okay, now I've taken this piece of trim, all right, and it's gonna go to this side, and we're gonna tie this next piece into it. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna lay that out. Now, you wanna come right down to the corner, right here to this edge, okay? And as you see, I've got this pencil line marked right there at that edge, okay? So I'm gonna lay this up here. It's gonna go to this outside corner, all right? But it's gotta go right in at the, right to the outer edge, right there, which is nice and lined up here, okay? Now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna get this other piece tied into this, okay? All right, now I'm gonna come down here on the wall and this is where putting a chisel point on your pencil comes in, all right? So I'm gonna take this, come right off of here and then mark this wall right there, all right? Right at this point. Now what I'm gonna do, you don't have to do this per se, all right? So I'm gonna take my speed square and I'm gonna get it lined up. We're gonna get that and look at this and straight on with it and mark. Okay. Now I can also mark this wall. Okay. Now if I want to bring that line up further on the wall, okay, I'll get this outer edge lined up with the just in front of that pencil line, so that pencil line is barely showing. And I'll bring this on up, all right? Now, I can come down here, line this up with this here, okay? And then come up the wall. Now, I can take My next piece, all right, and it's going into the corner. All right, now, as you see, my pencil line right here, okay? So now I'm going to look at this straight. Get your head right in line with that pencil line, and then Follow it up and mark. Bam. Okay, now you can see this mark and that's where I'm gonna cut. And it's gonna get cut, okay, where it's gonna go inside of this. So it's gotta go inside. So this is gonna get cut back this way, okay? And that's where you don't get confused. Because if I brought it this way, it would be the wrong direction. Okay. Okay, now sometimes back here in the corner, all right, where it's going to 45, you want to bed this in the corner a little bit, all right? And so I can tell by looking at this that it needs to be bedded a little bit. All right, so what I'm gonna do to embed that is I'm gonna take the chisel, and if I didn't have panel molding, this bead molding on here, I'd just tap a little on the butt. I'm gonna use this drywall, this chisel, all right? And I'm going to notch this. Which will make room and to make up the difference we have on this inside 45, all right? Now, we're also gonna need to do the same. Pause that. All right, I'm also gonna take out this right here so that when the 45s come into this corner, they will embed themselves
and that way you're compensating for the beadboard. Okay, that way you get a nice fit here in the corner that I'm now going to have to remove from here carefully. All right, now I'm going to take my drywall knife and I'm going to cut that out very carefully. Okay, because you don't want to damage anything else. You don't want to damage anything. All right, so I'm just going to carefully work this blade in there and uh, get this little section removed carefully. All right, and this is how I'm doing it. Uh, I don't know how someone else will do it. And remember... If you have to, you can always fill this in with the little caulking. All right. So that's pretty forgivable. Um, and this is what you normally don't see. This is something you usually are not shown. And I'm just carefully cutting this out of here. All right. And uh, this way it will bed, the trim will bed nicely in here. All right. This is how you make sure that you're good. All right. And then we're going to take this other side. You want you need two pieces always. All right. Now we're just going to push these in. Now we're going to pull it forward like they go, and get them adjusted here. Bam! That's right where I want to be. Right there. Okay. Now I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to mark this trim. Again, but it looks like I'm right there. Okay, so we're good. Perfect. We hit the bell, ring the bell, hit the jackpot. Okay. All right, now I'm going to slide this pencil line right here into position. And, some, and when you do this, you've got to kind of look between the teeth, all right? Look between the teeth on the saw blade, all right? And that right there, as you eyeball it in, ought to be about perfect, okay? So just bear with me. Now we're checking it, all right? If you look between the teeth, you'll see it's the pencil line just barely to the outside edge of that tooth on that bottom tooth on the blade. All right, and I'm pressing down and back to the fence. Okay, that was a test. Now I know I need to move it up just a hair. Okay, right there, we should be right on it. And here we go. Let's go inside and see what this looks like. Okay, now you see how we're lined up nicely here in the corner. Everything's in a line. All right, now, as I thought, this pencil line is a tad long, so I gotta cut this back. I gotta remark and then recut. Okay, and it will be perfect. Whoops. All right, the big reveal. Okay, this is where it goes. All right. Now, I'm going to take this down. And let's look across. All right. 
and we are right where we need to be and let's look at the pencil line underneath the marker bam there we are now we can glue this in place and uh, get her put up get her shot in there okay so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to put her glue here <laughs> I can't see anything. Well, you can't. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to get this glue right here on this edge of this beadboard. All right. Up here on the wall. Okay. I'm going to all the way back. Get it up here on that beadboard. Not everybody does this. But uh, a little glue will do ya. A dab will do, you know. It just to reassures for years to come. I believe doing things, there's no way like the old way. People are getting away from the old way of doing things. And uh, Houses aren't standing up like they used to. Things don't last like they used to because we've got away from the basics of doing things. And uh, so there's definitely no way like the old way. All right, we're gonna make a little noise. I'm gonna slide this on that glue. I'm gonna get this bedded and lined up together here. All right, there we go. Perfect, right there. Just, you want it just so. All right, you want this perfectly lined up. I got it right where I want it. Now we'll shoot it in place. Not now, but right now. All right, I'm gonna have to turn on this air compressor. So that okay. okay now we've got this over here now let's get this in place let's put a little glue on the end that easy. All right. Okay, she's set. And, uh, hold on one second. All right, now, we have it set in place. There is a very fine line that'll take a little bit of caulking. All right. And uh, sand it out. It'll be beautiful. Let me show you this over here around the corner. This is why we do the return to itself because that's what it's going to look like. That's what it looks like. All right, then we'll get some black grout and this will all be dialed in. All right, now 
I'm going to take this piece of tile, I'm going to make a piece of trim. This is going to be it over here, all right, and it's going to go underneath this tile, okay? And it's a little long, as you can see, but I'm going to be rounding this edge over and then doing a round over on this edge, and it will fit in this spot quite nicely. And then the trim, the border will go up and around and finish off on top. I will probably be cutting this to fit right down in this contour here of the trim, the detailing here of the trim. And we'll see how that goes. That ought to be fun. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. I appreciate you being a part of my community. I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to ask. And I look forward to hearing from you. So thanks again. United we stand. United we make it happen here on YouTube. And never give up because there's always a way. Always. Bye for now. Bye.